All right, folks, good morning and happy Thursday. I'm sorry that I can't be with you for Rock Block this morning. I had a last minute appointment I needed to get to, but I went ahead and put together this video with today's lesson. Uh, keep in mind, you still do need to do the take time to read. I'm not going to include that in this video because that would just be 10 minutes of silence. Uh, so I'll leave that for you to do on your own. But this timer, if you need it, is in the PowerPoint, which is on Schoology. I would still love to hear your responses to the check and connect question though, so if you wouldn't mind, you can email these to me or send them via the Schoology chat. Uh, what are some of the things that you're excited for for Thanksgiving break? I know that for a lot of us, Thanksgiving is probably going to look very different this year, uh, but some of us still might get excited to see family or maybe you're just excited to have a break from school. So whatever it is, I would love to hear about it. I personally am super excited for all of the sweets. Uh, Desserts are my favorite, so I'm very excited for all of the fall-themed sweet things. I'd love to hear what you're excited for. Go ahead and email me that. For the rest of Rock Block today, though, we are just going to be doing a bit of a check-in. Uh, believe it or not, we are almost finished with the third week of marking period two. So we wanted to make sure that you're starting that second quarter on the right foot, especially as we head into this next short week, keeping in mind that Thanksgiving break is Wednesday through Friday, we wanted to make sure that you're heading into that break feeling caught up and good about everything. So a couple of things that we've been noticing is that it is hard to build those social connections. Uh, we were definitely able to build those more easily when we were in school, but we still have some resources to help you build those connections while we're doing distance learning. So here are some ways that you can get more involved and stay connected to our school community. We have the SCA, which is our student council here at Irving. There is a link right here to a student survey. If you click on this image, it takes you to a nifty link. And with that link, uh, you have the chance to give some feedback on what some things you want for your student council to do throughout the year. So if you have suggestions, that's a great place to share them. There is also the after school program. A lot of new clubs started at the start of the second marking period. So check those out. There might be something that you are interested in getting involved in, uh, in terms of doing an after school club. And that is also a great way to form those social connections. We also know that as middle schoolers, uh, this time, during this time, you are juggling a lot. Um, and it's a lot to manage. So between trying to form those social connections, being stuck at home in a pandemic, and then also being a middle schooler and having schoolwork, that's a ton. Um, so with it being a lot to manage, it is okay if you need to ask for help. And asking help can look like a whole bunch of different things. Maybe it's going to your teacher's office hours and asking for help on an assignment. If you don't know how to do something, if you forgot, if something doesn't make sense. Uh, so make sure that you're taking advantage of those teacher office hours in order to keep on track of your work and ask for help, academic help, if and when you need it. Keep in mind that all of your teachers have office hours on Mondays from 11 a.m. until 12 p. 12, 10 p.m. Uh, and then they also have them on Tuesdays and Thursdays during the second half of Rock Block. So from 9.55 until 10.25. During that time, you can ask them for help on an assignment. You can ask them questions about their class. You can review things. You can retake things. So please make sure that you are taking advantage of that academic help time. All of your teachers also have an after school office hour. So they stay after school from 225 until 325 at least one day a week. And there is a link here that will take you to a spreadsheet that shows you all of your teachers after school days. In addition to academic help though, you might also need help getting organized or managing your time effectively or maybe working on your personal and social skills. And this is a great way to ask for help is by asking your counselors. So this Bitmoji picture below uh, is of all of our counselors. 
So depending on who your counselor is, you can click on your specific counselor to get in touch with them. Um, or if you have questions about academic course in, or sorry, career and college goals or personal and social goals, you can also uh, click on these links to learn more about those. Our counselors are fantastic resources and they are also here to help you uh, with those those things. So academic help is one thing, but you also have these folks to turn to for general help if you need it. Speaking of academic help, as a reminder, use Schoology and SIS to help you stay on top of your assignments. You can use both of those sites to create an academic to-do list of work that you should complete before Thanksgiving break. We still have one more asynchronous work day, that's on Monday, so that you can get all of that work done before Thanksgiving break and no won't have any homework over the break. This right here is a link that will make a copy of a spreadsheet for you to help you double check in all of your classes if you have any assignments, to help you plan it out when you're going to get it done by, and to help you ask yourself if you need to see a teacher about it, whether it's asking questions through an email or going to one of their office hours. You can also make a different to-do list. This is just one template, but in general, creating a to-do list can be a very helpful way for you to organize tasks, especially when you're feeling overwhelmed with the amount of items that you need to complete. And so that's actually what you're gonna go ahead and do for the next bit of rock block, uh, is you are going to work on that table and work on filling it in. So what I want you to do is think about between today and Thanksgiving break, what work do you need to accomplish so that you don't have any homework to worry about over the break? In order to do this, you are going to log into SIS and you're going to check your classes for any missing assignments and any assessment retake opportunities. You're going to complete the following for each missing assignment. So you're going to list anything that needs to get done in that class. You're going to put that in the to do column and you're gonna decide when you'll complete that assignment. You could either get it done uh, for homework, you could get it done during asynchronous time, um, but decide when you're gonna get it done. And then determine whether or not you'll need to email your teacher or visit their office hours in order to complete that assignment. It might be also helpful to create a sim or to complete a similar process in Schoology. So that's telling you to go through and do that in SIS. Uh, keeping in mind that sometimes some teachers will put assignments in Schoology before they'll put them in SIS. So it's important for you to check both, but check both and review each of your classes for again, missing assignments, incomplete assignments, and anything with an upcoming due date. And then as you complete items, check them off the list. So again, a preview of that, and that's what you're going to spend some time working on. Uh, when it reaches 9.55, that is the start of your teacher's, teacher's office hours. And again, teacher office hours go from 9.55 until 10.25. So please make sure to take advantage of that if you need to. If you are not going to teach your office hours during that time, remember that that is supposed to be asynchronous work time and study time. So use that time to check some of those assignments off of your to-do list, uh, which you can also finish creating your to-do list and get to work on it. Folks, have a fantastic weekend. I will see you on Monday morning at 8.45 for our Monday check-in. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, but I also look forward to seeing your email responses to the check and connect. Cool beans.